So if you look over there. 155 go back this way? Yeah. People really like puffins because they're adorable animals. They're very, very cute. And they, and they loaf too. And I think that's something that's very attractive to other people. Um, because they're not just, they don't just go in and out and they don't uh, just sit on their nest. They kind of, they hang out with each other and they socialize. And I think that's something that's very attractive for other people to see. Um, and you really get a good glimpse of their behavior. So that's, uh, they're a very fun species to watch. Just When I see a puffin flying in with herring in its beak and with white hake, juvenile white hake in its beak, that tells me that the sea surface temperature is uh, probably within the right range and we measure it uh, twice a day on the island here to see and it's usually in this time of year it's in the 50s uh, which is cold for a swimmer but perfect for a fish if you're a little fish. The puffin should be listened to because the puffins can tell us what's happening. It's hard to see these changes underwater, but we can look in the puffin's beak and we can 
begin to understand what they're telling us. What ha can happen for a bird like the puffin, which is long lived, they, they can live 20 to 30 years. They can handle a few bad years every now and then. Their life strategy is sort of set up to have good years and bad years. But if they have a bad year every year, they're not replacing themselves. And that's what's happened in Iceland. And that's why the population is declining.